The V-Gel Advanced Airway device can be used for the administration of anaesthesia gases and emergency or supplemental oxygen in an unconscious rabbit. Whilst rabbits are not fasted before anaesthesia, food can be removed 20 minutes prior to surgery. This can be beneficial in ensuring no food is held in the mouth or pharynx before any anaesthetic drugs are administered. To help remove any oral and pharyngeal food particles, a gentle mouth flush with 5 to 10 millilitres of water can also be carried out. Ensure the patient is fully anaesthetised to a surgical plane of anaesthesia. The jaw should be relaxed and there should be no cough, gag or withdrawal reflexes present. Oxygenate the patient whilst you select the appropriate fee gel. Using the size chart in the pack, select the correct size V-gel according to the rabbit's ideal body weight. Confirm that the correct size has been chosen by measuring against the patient. Withdraw the tongue and examine the mouth and pharynx of the patient using a laryngoscope or otoscope. Remove any foreign materials and suction any excessive secretions that are seen. It may be appropriate to apply a dose of topical local anaesthetic to the larynx, depending on the clinician's assessment. Lubricate the V-gel with vet lube or a similar water-based lubricant. Shake the bottle well and ensure all outer surfaces of the V-gel bowl are covered with lubricant, without obstructing the airway channel. Holding the patient's tongue, place the V-gel on the tongue with the skirt splayed out, not tucked underneath. Gently advance the V-gel into the pharynx. A subtle drop will be felt as the V-gel passes over the base of the tongue and into position. If the V-gel device does not fit through the pharyngeal arch, a smaller device should be selected. The V-gel should fit snugly in place with no rotational ability. Confirmation of correct placement should be determined by testing for a patent airway, for example with a capnograph, gentle positive pressure ventilation or a respiration monitor. The V-gel should be secured into place by tying a gauze fabric strip, IV line or string onto the raised ring features on the V-gel. It can be wrapped around the small connector wings for extra security. The tie should then loop around the back of the patient's head, thus allowing no rostral movement of the V-gel. The V-gel should be disconnected from the circuit whilst the patient is being repositioned or rotated. Once the V-gel is secure, the weight of the anaesthetic circuit should be supported. A D-grip tube holder is a suitable device to assist. After the procedure is completed, allow the rabbit to recover whilst connected to a source of oxygen. The securing tie can be loosened from the patient's head. Once normal reflexes such as the swallowing reflex, jaw tone, pedal pullbacks have returned, remove the V-gel by gently pulling it out of the mouth. If the V-gel is tight in the mouth or the rabbit's jaw has clamped down on the V-gel, it can be useful to gently rotate it to make removal easier. Recycle or dispose of the V-gel according to local rules.